Hi guys, it's Jess and Rebecca. We're coming back to you with two different crafts you can make today. You'll get them in a bag like this, okay? We're gonna make either a butterfly out of the pipe cleaners and beads, or you can make a cute necklace or a bracelet if you don't want a necklace out of the beads that are in the bag. You'll notice that some of the beads in your bag are smaller than others. So I wouldn't recommend using those on your pipe cleaners because I don't think you're going to be able to push them on. But they will certainly fit on the thread that's in there. So as I'm working on the butterfly and showing you how that's done, Rebecca's just going to take some of the beads and string them on uh, a necklace to show you how that looks as well. Like I said, if you start this butterfly and you think, oh my goodness, Jess, I am not feeling this, that's totally fine. You can just put them on a necklace then and have fun that way. So here we go. All right, so you're gonna wanna pull out your two pipe cleaners. These ones are different colors. Yours should all be the same color. But we're gonna pull out the pipe cleaners and you're gonna wanna string 30 beads approximately on your pipe cleaner and they just slide on easy okay the nice thing about the pipe cleaners is they don't fall off when you put them on you can just push them right on they go on nice and easy You'll notice that you have one or one special bead because you have special beads in this there, kit. There were some special beads that came in our bead bundle. And so each of you should have a special bead of some kind for the center of your necklace. As you can see here, Rebecca made mine for me, made our example. It's a little turtle. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. And so you can put that in the center of your necklace or put it in the center of your bracelet if you're choosing to do that instead. So I'm just going to count because I lost count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So I'm going to keep going here. And let's see, I'm going to end with a different color bead. There aren't any other beads. All right, so that's 15 beads. So I'm just going to kind of bend my pipe cleaner. So I know that I have 15 on that end. And then I'm going to do 15 on this side. Fourteen, and let's see, we'll pick out a different one, fifteen. I will say what might be helpful for you. As you can see, Rebecca and I have the beads in uh, muffin tin. What you might want to do before you even get started is when you take your pipe cleaners out of your bag, you may just want to dump these beads into a cereal bowl something like that so that you can see them a little easier and they won't go rolling all over your table or your bed or wherever you're choosing to make your craft. Just a little side tip. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing with this pipe cleaner. I'm gonna put, oops, if I don't have any more yellows. Um, we'll make a different pattern then. So, Gonna make my other butterfly wing. You may, if you don't like really long necklaces, you may 
I cut it, and then you could make a bracelet or two. And you notice how I made like a little pattern and it went yellow, orange, yellow. And however many beads you have, if you have the same kind of beads and you have a lot of those, you can make a pattern. And if you just want one special bead on there, you can do that and make a couple bracelets. So yeah, Rebecca is correct. We made the necklaces nice and long, or the string nice and long. So if you want to make a really long necklace, you can do that. If you want to um, make a shorter necklace and tie it off a little bit differently, you can do that as well. Or um, make them into bracelets or anklets. Whatever you would like to do is up to you. You can even make a pattern. I, as you can see, I'm making a pattern with my beads here. If you just want to kind of be more random and just pick them up and slide them on, feel free. Or put them in rainbow order or um, whatever. The same kind of bead on all at the same time. You can do that too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and what did I do? I did one of these clear guys. Fifteen. All right, so now I have two, okay, pipe cleaners with about 30 beads on each. The reason I left a space in the middle is because each side then has 15. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your ends, you're gonna take your one end and you're gonna put it in the middle. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing with this side, put it in the middle. And then you're going to Twist them, the ends over, okay, so that you have one wing, okay, there's one wing, and I'll show you again just in case, so here's your, here's your, your side, okay, you're going to twist it in towards the center and twist it in towards the center all right and twist them so now you have a second wing all right you get to decide then whether if you did two different colors like i did whether you want the butterfly to have the same color wings on one side or if you want them to have wings on um, same color on the top. I think I'm going to do same color on the top and same color on the bottom. So I have a little bit extra. I'm just wrapping the pipe cleaner around the middle here. Okay. Wrapping it around the middle so that it stays. And then you should have a short pipe cleaner that you can, when you're finished wrapping that pipe cleaners around the middle, you can just wrap it around everything, give it a little twist here, and then your butterfly has his little antenna if you want to fold the ends. All right. So then you have, there's your finished butterfly. Okay. Or if you decided, hey, I don't want to do that, here's finished necklace. There will be extra beads left over, so you should be able to do both. Once you finish your butterfly, you can use the beads, the smaller beads, to make your necklace. Okay? But there's your finished products. All right?
I hope you wear your necklace well and enjoy your butterfly. You certainly can feel free to give these wonderful crafts to a friend who's maybe feeling a little bit down or um, maybe a family member who just needs cheering up and make somebody's day. So I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.